Hi, today I'll be making dinosaur Christmas ornaments with some of my grandkids. Now the dinosaurs came from the Dollar Tree. In the kids' toy section, they have a box of eight small dinosaurs for a dollar, and the big dinosaurs are a dollar each. The Santa hats came from Hobby Lobby. There was a package of eight for three dollars, but of course they were 50% off, so it was only a dollar fifty. To put the hanging hardware on the dinosaur, you'll need an eyelid hook, some pliers, and a thumbtack. I like to make a indentation with a thumbtack so that my screw will fit in there easier. So you just press down hard on wherever you would like to attach the screw. Oh, and forgive my dirty looking nails I was crafting that morning. My eyelet hooks are actually just a little bit small. Um, the next size up would probably be better. These are eyelet hooks that were meant for earrings, but that's all I had on hand. It's easier to get the screw embedded if you hold on to the screw with the pliers and just rotate the dinosaur around. Some dinosaurs you won't be able to attach the screw to the back because they have a back fin, so you would just drill a small hole through that back fin to help hang it. I'm going to be using Mod Podge to get the glitter to stick to the dinosaur, so we're just using Q-tips as applicators. And the Mod Podge I'm using just happens to be the, this is an exterior because I just happen to have it on hand, but any Mod Podge will do. For the big dinosaurs, we're just putting a, basically a stripe down the back. And then we're going to be sprinkling some glitter on it. And just let the kids pick whatever color they want. They really had fun with this part of it. It doesn't matter what size glitter. What she's using here right now is a fine glitter. But later on, we're also going to be using some chunky glitter. So whatever you have on hand. She wanted to continue to add glitter, so we put some more Mod Podge on the side of the fins and a little bit on the back so that she could put some gold glitter to go with her purplish pink glitter down the spine of the dinosaur. So that was my three-year-old granddaughter. Now this is my six-year-old grandson, and his technique is to put down a coarser glitter down the spine of the dinosaur and make sure you shake it off really well. And now my eight-year-old grandson wanted to do his glitter half and half. So half of the spine side will be red glitter and the other half will be gold glitter. Whenever the Q-tips get stringy, just change them out for new ones and continue to put as much Mod Podge on as you need to get good coverage for your glitter. To get the Santa hats to stick on, I'm using glue dots here. I cut the dots of, in half because that's the size you needed. And if you keep the paper backing on there, it's easier to put on. Just press it down with the paper backing on tight to the dinosaur head and then you can lift the paper off. And then you can attach the Santa Claus hat. Now these Santa Claus hats, I did have to fold up the white band around the bottom of the hat to make it look right, but it's, pretty easy to do. After everything was all said and done, the glue dot sometimes did not hold well, so I went back and used a glue gun. To get the present in the T-Rex's arms, uh, we also use glue dots on his hands, and then just press the present into his arms. The tiny dinosaurs are very quick and easy. All you need to do is apply the Mod Podge to the entire dinosaur, making sure you get the belly and between the legs and on the bottom of the feet, just everywhere. By the way, you don't have to use Q-tips if you don't want to. You can use the, those cheap paint brushes or even the black sponge brushes. I just was afraid it'd have too much Mod Podge on the black sponge paint brushes. And then it's time for the kid's favorite is putting on the glitter. Now you can shake it on if you just have a small container, rub it around, whatever your technique you'd like to do. I did apply a 
one of those Christmas hook wires to the eyelet screw I put in earlier, just so the kids would have something extra to hang on to. It's easier to control. Now, if you have a big container of glitter, you can dunk the whole small dinosaur into the container head first, then turn it around and then do the tail. And it's always good to have baby wet wipes to clean off the hands after they're done with the Mod Podge and the glitter. I also use the Christmas hook wire to reopen the holes in the little eyelet screws so that I could put my Christmas string through. And you can also use jute string if you prefer, what, or ribbon, whatever you want. I also sprayed the dinosaurs with a Rust-Oleum clear sealant spray just to keep the glitter intact. They're ready to be hung on their tree now, either your tree or you could have a children's tree with all their toys. If they like Legos, you can glitter Legos. If they like insects, Dollar Tree also has little plastic insects that you can dip in glitter. I think it's so cute. In the next couple of days, I'll be publishing another kid made Christmas ornament video. So please stop by on my channel again and hit the like button if you enjoyed this content. Thank you.